Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another interesting question that I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then I will show you how to implement this logic using SQL. So in this question, we are provided with two input. One is a string value and another is a sequence number. So the expectation is using this string value and the sequence number, we need to write a SQL to print an alphanumeric sequence number such a way that the string gets repeated as per the sequence times. For example, in this case, the string ABCD has to be repeated four times like A1, B1, C1, D1, A2, B2, C2, D2 and here is the third set and here is the fourth set. This is the expectation. Suppose if the input is just ABC and 2 and the expected output is A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 that is we should print the ABC in two set because our max sequence is 2. Suppose if the input is just A and the sequence is 3 and the expected output is just A1, B1 and C sorry A1, A2 and A3. So this is the expected output fine. So in this video I am just going to show you two different implementations that is we are going to implement completely two different logics. I would suggest you to explore a bit more logics and if you are able to write it I would suggest you to please post your queries in the comment section so that it will be helpful for the subsequent learners. Fine. Let us start with the first method of implementation. First let me show you what is the logic I am just going to follow so that it is easy for you to follow the SQL while showing you the demo. Let's start with the first method. So in the first method what I am going to do is I am just going to first take the input string and I am just going to print it in the row wise format. If you want to know how to convert a string into a row of character then I would suggest you to watch this video because in this video I have explained about how to convert a string into a row of data like this. Fine. So very similar to the string to row conversion the next thing what I am going to do is I am going to print a row of numbers based on the input sequence. If you want to know how to print a row of sequence I would suggest you to watch this video because here we have seen about more than six methods to print a row of numbers. Fine. Now that we have like two data set one is a row of character and another is a row of numbers. We just need to do a cross join between these two things so that it will return 16 uh, rows and we just need to concatenate the output from the both like row of character and the row of numbers. Fine. Now let me show you how to implement this in the SQL. Okay, let us start with our input. So our input is A, B, C, D. Let me give alias as string and the sequence is 4. Let me give alias as sequence from dual. So this is our input data. So let me just put like with class with D data set as. So this is our input select string from D or let's say select both. First let us concentrate on converting the string into a row of character. So let me just take only the string portion. So now what I'm going to do I'm just going to use something like connect by level less than or equal to length of string. So now if you see the string will get printed four times. So let me just print the level also. So basically our expectation is in each and every row we want one character. For that we can use the substring, substring of string comma level. We just need one character from each row. So I'm just putting one. So now we just got the, uh, I mean now we just converted the string into a row of character. So let me just give alias as yes. So anyway we are not interested in displaying the rest of the information. So I'm just removing all those things. Fine. So let this query be like this. Now we will work on the um, sequence portion that is the uh, number portion. So again I am selecting sequence from D. Very similar to the string portion let us convert the sequence into row of numbers connect by level less than or equal to sequence. So this just gives the sequence so let me just print the level. So we just got the sequence here let me just give alias as L. So let me just remove the sequence from here. So now we have actually two queries, one which prints the row of character, another which prints the row of numbers. We just need to do the cross join. So let me say select star from 
So this is our first query or you can say the second query that prints the row of numbers. So now let me join this first query. So now you can see here we just got both number and the string. So the expected output is we just need to concatenate both. So here is the string, here is the number. So let me just concatenate both string and number. So anyway, we are not interested in printing the string and the number so we can remove it. So here is our output. Let me just give alias as string. So this is our expected output. Fine. Now let us go ahead with the second method of implementation. So second method of logic is a little bit different than the first method. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to find the length of the string. So in this case it is like 4. Then what I'm going to do 4 into sequence 4. That is 4 into 4 equals 16. So the ABCD I'm just going to print 16 times. Then what I'm going to do I'm just going to print a sequence number something like this like 1 this is second set, this is third set and this is fourth set. So let us say this is our column 1, let us say this is our column 2. So the third column what I am going to do, I am just going to print a sequence of numbers something like 1, 2, 3, 4 within each set. So within each set I am just going to print 1, 2, 3, 4 something like this. So let us say this is our column 3. Then what I am going to do, from the column 1 I am going to extract the first character. So based on the column 3. Similarly, in the second row, I am going to extract the second character based on column 3. In the third row, I am going to extract the third character because the third value is 3. Similarly, in the fourth row, I am going to extract the fourth character. Very similar to that, we are just going to extract the rest of the character so that we will get another column called column 4. Now, we got all the information needed for our expected output. We just need to concatenate column 4 and column 2. So, that will just give us the expected output. Fine. Now let me show you how to write this logic in SQL. Let's start with our initial uh, input data. So we have the string and the sequence. So, so the first step is to print the string 16 times. For that I am using connect by level less than or equal to sequence into length of string. So that this will just repeat the row into 16 times. Right. So let me just take the string. Right. So this is our column one. Let me just give alias as C1. Yeah. So the first column is we just printed the string 16 times. So the next column, what we need is we just need to print the sequence of numbers. So for that, what I'm doing sequence, uh, sorry, level divided by length of string. So this will just give some decimal number. I'm just using the seal function so that we will get the expected sequence here now you can see we just got the sequence of numbers here fine so let me just give alias as c2 column 2 fine so now let's work on the column 3 so very similar to the column 2 i'm just using level and i'm just going to use like modulo function here modulo of level comma length of string so we will get a sequence something like this Okay, so I, I don't prefer the 0. So let me just put 1 plus 1 here so that we will get like within each sequence here we will get like 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let me just give alias as like C3. So this is our column 3. Now we got like column 1, column 2 and column 3. So column 4 is nothing but we just need to extract the character position from column 1. So let us use the substring. Substring of column 1 is nothing but string. So we need the column 3 position. So I'm just copying the same thing and I'm just putting here. So we need one character from each position. So let me just execute it now. So let me just give alias as C4. So this is our column 4. So we just got column 2 and column 3 and 4. So the expected output is nothing but concatenation of column 4 and column 2. So let me use column 4 and concatenate the column 2. So column 2 is this. Let me just copy and paste it here. Yeah. So this is our expected output. Let me give string. Yeah. Fine. Let me just order it. Order it by let's say 2 and 3. Second and third column. Okay. So we got the expected output. So this is our expected output. Now let us check whether this query is perfectly working fine. Let me give ABC and 2. 
we should get a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 so let me just give a and the sequence as 1 a1 a2 a1 suppose if i give the sequence as 4 then it should give a1 a2 a3 a4 let's say 10 a1 a2 till a10 let's make it a b so a1 b1 a2 b2 till a10 b10 that is 20 rows should come okay fine so here is our first method of implementation so in the first method it is very simple first we are using a simple query to find the to convert the string into a sequence of row similarly another query to print a sequence of number and we are just using a cross join or a cartesian product to get the expected output so this is our method one so in the method two what we are actually doing first we are pr uh, uh, printing the rows in 16 uh, record so based on the length of the string and the sequence so this just prints the string in a 16 times then what we are doing using the seal function and we are actually using like level divided by length we are just printing the sequence that is the column 2 so column 3 we are using the modulo function here just to print the like 1 2 3 and 4 this set like four times so the column 4 is nothing but using the substring we are extracting the position so that is the column fourth so column actual output is nothing but the uh, second column concatenated with the fourth column so that is our the expected output in fact both these queries i have just given in the description i would suggest you to copy and try this and also i would suggest you to explore more methods and if you are able to find it please put your queries in the comment section it will really help for the subsequent learners and viewers if you want any questions to be answered please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before this please check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the interview question or as part of the subscriber question series if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video